Hi, we are Nick and Antonia, the two people behind Rescribe. We develop optical character recognition, or OCR for short, for historic printed books and medieval manuscripts. We work on paid commissions usually, but we publish all of our software open source. Several years ago, we experimented with open source engines and medieval manuscripts, specifically manuscripts written in Carolina Minuscule. Um, and with the models we built on, for that occasion, we achieved a word accuracy of around 90%. It is clear, therefore, that the technology is capable. However, it's not very accessible. That's the gap that we would like to bridge. And today, in our talk, we want to present a software solution that allows for using uh, the OCR engine Tesseract on your computer without too much ado. Um, I'm going to present an overview of that program, and my colleague Nick is going to do a quick demo. Our OCR program consists of three parts that are all integrated into one pipeline. The first one is pre-processing, then comes the actual OCR, and after that, post-processing. First, a book directory or a folder with the images of the scanned pages is submitted to the pipeline. Each page is then individually submitted to the pre-processing step. The pre-processing step prepares the image for the actual OCR by means of so-called binarization by turning the original image into black and white only. Ideally, this step also cleans out speckles and smudges that hamper the OCR process. And that's actually quite important, particularly for medieval manuscripts where there tend to be lots of discolorations or sheep pores visible on the page. Our binarization works at different levels of aggressiveness. When the level is too low, too much smudge remains. When it is too high, the letters start disappearing, as you see in the slide here. Our program, therefore, binarizes each page at different thresholds. Um, and then afterwards, you have a range of versions to choose from. In the next step, all the binarized pages are submitted to the OCR process. After the OCR is done, the best result is automatically picked for each page to then make up the whole book again. The final output of our pipeline is one HOCR file for each page, a searchable PDF, and a confidence graph that tracks the quality across the whole book. Realistically, it's impossible to measure the accuracy of an OCR text. However, Tesseract yields a confidence score, measuring the confidence the engine itself has in its own transcription. This is not the same as accuracy, but it is a good qualitative measure of the output throughout. My colleague Nick will now do a quick demo. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> sure. So uh, here I'm going to run the tool, which uh, is called Rescribe, after our company, um, on a test uh, manuscript, which is just uh, a couple of manuscript pages. Um, so you can see the tool where uh, you run it, you call rescribe and then dash T and then the uh, path to a um, OCR training, uh, which we're using the Caroline minuscule one we created earlier, uh, which is also freely available and you pass it the name of the directory. Uh, once you do that, you can see it starts pre-processing, which does the binarization Antonia talked about and wiping, which is removing marginalia and other stuff, which is going to hamper the process. Uh, then it OCRs and then glues everything together uh, and creates a PDF, which I'm opening now. Um, and you will see this PDF is searchable. Um, <clears throat> the coordinates aren't exact, but they're close enough that you can find uh, what you need to find. Um, the OCR quality is not perfect at the moment. Uh, it is a work in progress because the Caroline minuscule stuff, the manuscript stuff we're doing, you know, uh, hasn't been sort of paid work we've done. It's stuff we've done on the side because it's been fun and interesting and we thought useful. So, uh, but the quality is pretty good. You know, it's up to up to 90% on a good day. Um, so certainly good enough to search for most occurrences of a word. Um, there's more information about everything and links to the software, which is all free and works on Linux, OS X, Windows. Um, please try it out. Let us know how you get on. Um, and yeah, thanks for listening. <laughs>